So with that, you know, I pray that your brothers and your few sisters, you know, and we say it like that because, hey, truth be told, the majority of you people that be watching, a lot of you are full of shit. You're just watching for entertainment. You know, you have this sister that was all upset because we say few sisters. Now, if you happen to be right, if you know within your heart of hearts that you're doing the right thing and that you're trying to the best of your ability, just pray to Yahweh Bashem Al Shai and do what you're supposed to do. You know? Remember, we're rolling in the spirit. We ain't rolling on the emotions of the people. We're rolling in the spirit. The Lord said to, to tell, you know, to, uh, Tell Jacob about their transgression and spare not. You know? These women are getting upset because we're not lauding them in praise. You want Lord and praise? Go to ISUPK. Go to IUIC. Go to them, to the GOCC. Go to them different groups where they exalt women and put women on a pedestal. That's not us over here. And the Most High does not put women on a pedestal. Yeah, there were a lot of great women that did a lot of great things. And Barakata Yahweh Bashem Shai and much blessings to those sisters. And much blessing to you sisters out there that are doing the right thing and that are holding the fort down, so to speak, to the best of your ability. May the Lord increase you and keep you and, and protect you and guide you and bless you. That's why a lot of you can't keep your mouth shut with a damn. You know? And you can take it how you want to take it. So we're not over here to lord and praise and put our sisters on a pedestal. That's what this world does. No. That's that queen of heaven worship. And we do not teach over here to beat your wife. Bitch, act up. Beat her. No, we don't teach that shit over here. I'm talking about uh, uh, bringing slander upon us and, 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 uh, and these false accusations and these lies and being a false witness. The most I going to deal with every last one of you, man. And like that don't like that we say a few sisters, hey, you know, if, you, if you're if not really sincere, you can move on. You got IHPK, you got IUIC, you got GOCC, you got, uh, you got a plethora of different Israelite groups that will accept you and, and kiss your ass and put you on a pedestal. Go with them. You women that don't like that we say a few sisters, hey, you know, if, you, if you're not really sincere, you can move on. You got IHPK, you got IUIC, you got GOCC, you got, uh, you got a plethora of different Israelite groups that will accept you and, and kiss your ass and put you on a pedestal. Go with them. You want accolades of sisters, the sisters. Well, go with them. We do not teach over here to beat your wife. Bitch, act up. Beat her. No, we don't. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahawashah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, also a sincere shalom to you other brethren, you followers of the truth, and you few sisters <laughs> uh, that is following the doctrine and supporting, and you followers, you other you know others that may be watching and following as well uh, that's what I want to get into I was actually working on another video that uh, the elder and brother Yasha Wamba uh, put this post up of Apostle Ramla uh, going on about the few sisters you know like the military they say we're looking for a few good men when the Lord is looking for a few good men you're only dealing with the elect anyway so you're going to have a few men okay you may have quite a bit of women but in the beginning you know that may take time right because we're dealing with the elect men and then ultimately the women right who will follow I mean we understand how it works all it takes is for the crap to hit the fan and then you'll see a transformation let's just put it that way I'm just going to keep it clean uh, but anyway this person here mo be knowing right says you have more sisters watching than men <laughs> how do you know that that's what bothered, that's what that's the first thing came to my mind so now she's somehow follow a census or maybe we're supposed to follow a census on all the sisters who was following the truth so my question is how the heck would she know that? Very presumptuous. Okay. 
So that's crazy. How does she know that there's more sisters watching than men? She just had to throw that in there, right? Nothing's ever good enough for Eve, man. You know? Anything you have, and this is where the jealousy comes with Eve in general. You get Eve will be jealous of their own partner, man. This is where you this is what will happen when it comes to Eve. Eve has to have it all. Because they were raised like that. They were raised with the brother, right? And because she's Eve you had to cater to her more because she's so tender and delicate so you got to give her everything and then they grow up like that so then when it comes to the truth you got women who now want to try to go out and teach anyway um, I just wanted to touch on that this uh, video she says you have more sisters watching than men why acknowledge why acknowledge us as if it's a small amount like again like she knows Eve knows it's just a whole plethora of women just watching right when we make up more in this population elder it doesn't feel good hearing the little or few sisters well you know the scripture says to seek your salvation why are you so concerned about the few sisters okay make sure you are one of the ones that uh, uh, make your election call okay make sure you're doing the right thing as a sister to hold down the fort so to speak okay um, we have a sister that supports us personally with our camp in fact a few sisters believe it or not and then there's another camp here as well where you had brothers which kind of merged with us from time to time who have sisters who support them so the the, um, the ones that are supportive will be the ones that understand what it takes they're not trying to get accolades for doing uh, the righteous thing and when people who do that means that they're insincere they're not truly sincere about being a follower of the truth they're really amped up on um, trying to figure out or trying to get someone to recognize them instead of worrying about what your part is as a woman in the truth okay it's not that hard really this is called a thing called DTM, doing too much. You're making it too hard to be in the truth. Okay? And you got to watch it as, as a man of the Lord of just wanting to be seen and wanting all the attention. That's another thing as well. Um, I've seen men do that as well. Uh, well, let me get a scripture. I always hold a scripture, but it'll be for not meant to get it this particular time but I'll get it now okay this is Luke let me see Luke um, 14 and 11 for whosoever exalteth himself or herself shall be abased I mean boy low and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted when is, when is the exaltation you know when is the exaltation you know, ultimately when we get delivered. Or you'll be brought forth and people will recognize you. There were sisters that done things for us and we um, acknowledge it. If you, you've done things for us, for the brotherhood, right, and you haven't been acknowledged, just notice that the Most High sees it. That's what all should matter. I mean, it does matter because you're a woman, you know the order, and you want you know the attention or whatever but understanding that the most high sees it and that's all that matters at the most at the most part anyway and we see it you know you might you might not say anything but we see it okay and um, those other camps I wanted to touch on that the reason why they call us rapists they call us what they say we beat our wives because some crazy guy goes out and do it, they put it on us and say, see, that's GMS. 
we were never taught to beat up your wife. We were never taught, um, I know coming in, I was never taught, and I've been in the truth for a little while now, you know, I was never taught to beat my wife and disrespect her on high levels, you know. I, I was never taught that. You know, we, we read the book of Ephesians. We know the scriptures. But why do these guys do it? Because they know who have the goods of the world. And they know where the uh, funds come from. So why not? Why not say, I, I've seen a group, I can't remember what group it was, and a woman came up to him and asked about GMS. They said, no, don't go mess with them. Those guys teach rape. I think it was I should be K. These are the same thugs that come out of prison, right? Doing these bits, and they come out of prison, and then the general says you can commit sodomy. I wonder why the general said that to these men that came out of prison. I don't know. That's what he said. Okay. <laughs> So, do we teach that? No. Right? Do we teach any of these things? No, we don't. We don't teach these things. But they say the, these things because they know you are the weaker vessel. And they know you're emotion, emotional driven, emotion driven. And they know, I'm talking about emotions on an um, a uncontrolled type of emotion. Everybody has emotions, by the way. There's nothing wrong with emotions. It is something wrong with uncontrolled emotions, right? So, you know, our women are supposed to be in a state where things are, because we are in an uncontrolled environment, you're going to have uncontrolled emotions, right? So naturally that's going to happen with women today. I honestly, understand when you get to the kingdom <clears throat> and everything is in a controlled environment and everything is back in order, you won't have those uncontrolled emotions. In fact, you won't have a need for it. But these guys know this, and this is why they bring that out right but there's an order okay first corinthians 11 and 3 but i'll have you know that the head of every man is yahawashah and the head of the woman is the man and the head of yahawashah is yahawah right so there's a particular order so we don't keep a census on how many women are in the truth in a, a call in line and all that so maybe this woman came from iuic she didn't like what she saw and um then maybe she was rebellious and then she said well I see GMS Let's, let me try that camp and let me you know these guys are the ones that turn them out into this type of direction and then they come into our camp with their same philosophy same ideology and we don't teach that true we don't put a whole bunch of you know we don't give a GMS sisters and have them in head wraps and long dresses and out uh, on YouTube teaching and saying, you know, trying to wake all the sisters up. <laughs> this is, I've seen guys do this. There's many of groups who, like we've seen these women who get on here and they talk about um, women in the Bible and they're really pumped up about it and they feel like they should have some status. But you know who's behind that? It's Jake. I've seen several instances where Jake was behind pushing that. It's Jake. Anyway, this is what we see, man. You know, it's out of control. There's going to be some sisters, as I said, are going to come in at the last minute, man. You know, when the crap hits the fan. So, that's all that matters. Right now, we can't see, we say a few sisters because you really do have a few sisters out of all these sisters remember there's way more women right so when you're looking at a situation like this and you see out of the whole network of all the men that are out teaching and all of us that have woken up even in different camps we're still a small number compared to all the women that are walking around so you're going to have a few sisters and some that hasn't woken up yet and some that will. And like I said, all it takes is situations to happen. And then they'll see. But right now, the Most High is getting us in, in line. He said, you, you men I call. Right? Ezekiel 34, I think. 
the flock of my pastor are men. Yahweh said, well, let me go ahead. Let's go to Galatians 4 and 4. But when the fullness of the time was come, Yahweh sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Right? So you had, you know, Mary, and then you had situations that was she done, you know, and she had an impact. And there's certain women in the, the scriptures that had impact. You know, when you read the Bible, we understand that. But we're in a time of prophecy now. So we ain't in a time to, you know, court the women down the aisle and, you know, show her, you know, with the bonnet in their head and the, the ankle bracelets and the nose ring and say, here, look at this sister. She's done a great service. You'll know. When that time comes, you, you'll be... Uh, if you watch that movie, um, Coming to America, which Eddie Murphy went to New York to get that woman, I'll just say that. But she didn't, you know, she was off, right? But she didn't have a clue who this man was. And then the reward at the end, he said, I could make it all go away. And she's like, nah, I, I like this attention. So you're going to have women that repent. You know, just as we repented. And it's going to get their reward too. The scripture said, the elder elect lady whom I love, right? Uh, I believe 1 John 1 and 1, something like that. Uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh, that he may exalt you in due time. This goes back to 1 Corinthians 11 and 3. We've got to get the order and you may be offended by this, right? But it says, but I have you have, have you known that the head of every man is Yahweh and the head of the woman is the man. So just as Abram called her, uh, Sarah called Abram Lord, right? If you should have a husband, at the end of the day, that's who you get the recognition to, you know? But as a woman and you're coming into the house of the Lord, okay, you got to humble yourselves under the men that teach, right? If you want to comment boards, if you, if we, we have sisters who do, who very respectful but this you're not humbling yourselves in the sight of the Lord see a lot of these scriptures we read on the hedges this is what it go for uh, this is what it's talking about this is just not talking about every crazy crazed negro okay that's walking up and down the street let's go to Ecclesiastes real quick I mean this lesson could go on and on and on in this topic because you are the counterparts of men so what you do uh, uh, we can use these scriptures for their examples okay Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of Yahweh did you do that on that comment board absolutely not and be more ready to hear right to give a sacrifice of fools right sottishness for they consider not that they do evil right so th don't look at this thing and some gang affiliation and need attention or whatever. Just look at it as playing your part as Eve, as a, as a sister. Let me say that. And you don't have hard work to do. I spoke with a sister a while back, and she said, "Um, we got it easy. <laughs> Y'all the ones out here, right? A, a true sister, spiritual sister, will recognize that." You got it easy. You don't have to do much. In fact, what has been twisted and destroyed when it come to us, you as a sister is supposed to help, be a help meet some kind of way and help restore the Israelites. The, 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 you know, to the best of your ability, the elect. You are given a tool, right? The spirit to be able to help with the uh, men of the Lord help the body and there's nothing wrong with that which we rely, we, we rely on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but you are used as a vessel and we have sisters who do support and help us right just keep doing what you're doing don't worry about the, this is madness this woman is doing and maybe she repents and flip it around but this is not a good look if you're a sister, that's all I have on that shallow wall.